Okay. Well, it looks ridiculous. Sounds good. Hey guys, welcome. This is the Backstage Pass. Uh, in this series, we sort of look at the behind the scenes of how we go about making our recipes. Um, I am the private chef and a lot of times we sort of recipe testing on new recipes and this is for sourdough baguette. And in this video, I'm going to share with you the mistakes I made and maybe perhaps for my mistakes, you can learn a couple of things. Previously, I released a video on how to make a bruschetta. You can go ahead and check the link in the description below. And in that video, we actually made a baguette and this is the behind the scenes of the baguette. The failures and the mouse success that I got. Enjoy. So what I did there is just to mix the flour and the water, which is about 85% bread flour and 15% whole wheat. Just let it mix uh, and rest for 30 minutes for Otolis before adding the Levan. The Levan is about 15%, um, which is what you're used to and comfortable with. And then uh, mix on the mixer for about 5 minutes before going through a series of stretch and fold. So I'm doing the stretch and fold until the dough can reach a window pane stage. As you can see, it is not quite ready at this stage yet. So what I'm doing here is just dividing the dough into 6 portions, each about 150 grams, which is what the legend Patrick Ryan from I Love Cooking Ryan tells me. It's perfect for the home oven size, and here it is. And just gonna give the dough a quick pre-shape into a ball and then from a ball to a sort of a longish kind of baguette shape. So I don't have a proper crush for this, so I just found the thickest tea towel I can find and just uh, just fold it into shape and let the baguette dough go inside and hope for the best. So I went to the baguette making feeling quite confident because I am used to making high hydration sourdoughs uh, bread as high as 80%. Um, so I went into this uh, with 77% hydration, uh, which is a big mistake for baguette because it is very difficult to maneuver. Now this is where things really screw up. Uh, one of the key techniques which I learned from making this is that on how do you move the dough from the place where it's proofing into the baking sheet. Because this is so high hydration and I realized that by now they actually have some kind of paddles to move it around Any movements to the dough will sort of distort the shape And you can see here I destroyed all three doughs in this move I give it a quick score and uh, in it goes to the oven. Okay, so I just put it in the oven. Uh, as you can see, it's a total nightmare. It was sticking to everything. I couldn't get a shape in place. Uh, but the good thing is the Bertuzzini Total's Professional Series oven has a steam function. So uh, it's actually rising quite nice, except the shape is... The French gods are rolling in the grave right now, but come take a look. It is uh, not a baguette, but maybe a Danish pastry. Maybe. Okay, so our first bag, the first time making baguettes, and they are out, and they look nothing like baguettes. In fact, they look like Ital French baguettes trying to be Italian shabatas. Um, yeah. You know the best part? These are all stuck. Uh, looks like we have to try again the next time round. Okay, well it looks ridiculous. Sounds good.
And the next try, I actually dropped the hydration down to 65%. Um, it is much more manageable. You can see there's a lot more um, tension in the door that allows me to move uh, from place to place uh, without distorting the shape. So once again, doing a quick pre-shape here before I do the final shape. And here with the final shape, you can see the dough is a lot more dense, uh, he has a lot more strength to it, that I can actually roll it and actually make the shape of the baguettes uh, the ends to be pointy and nice. What I also learned is that if you use too much flour before you do the rolling, it will not roll, it will slide around instead of rolling. So don't put too much flour when you do the final shape, otherwise you can't get that nice roll that you want to achieve that nice pointy ends. And after proofing for an hour, it's time to move them to the baking sheet. And this time around, you can see they are holding the shape much better. Um, they are not too loose and they have enough strength to be moved uh, by hand. And give it a quick score and into the oven. And here it is, our homemade sourdough baguette. I <laughs> it's attempt number two. I wish it had, had a much larger girth, um, but we all do. But it is what it is. We just gotta make do and make the best of what we have. And this baguette will have to do. Okay. And thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, if you enjoyed it, do subscribe and give a like to the video. And see you around.